there are huge, huge challenges in the care sector. Those challenges are primarily the lack of PPE, about testing and the confusion over testing, the differences between England and Wales now. And uh, very importantly, the stability of the sector, as obviously we're seeing the tragedy of so many people in our care homes across the UK and indeed even here in North Wales, uh, people actually passing away from the uh, from the COVID-19 virus. So you mentioned there about the differences now between England and Wales, that Wales aren't necessarily going to be testing care staff and residents like England are. I think lately um, there, there has been even greater confusion because obviously many people are looking at the, the news and hearing about what's happening in England and we know from our health minister that is not going to be the approach in Wales. However, we are trying to work as Care For in Wales with our colleagues in Public Health Wales to try and get some clarity. How do you find that care staff are doing in Wales? Do they feel like they're supported? Well, I think it's I think it's fair to say that this the care staff have been heroic. I mean, I can't I can't say uh, enough good things about the the care staff. However, what we now feel going forward is we have to make sure that beyond this crisis, we never look back and say, well, you know, the care staff are just second rate. They are up there as frontline essential workers doing a fantastic job. And uh, it's just sad in a way that it's taken this terrible COVID crisis. To, for the country, I think, and for the UK to realise the fantastic care staff that we have. This crisis is not going to go away in two or three months. This is going to be with us now 12, 18 months. And if we see an average drop of occupancy across Wales of only about 10%, we will see a destabilised uh, care sector.